Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson one of the Premiere tutorial series. So today we're going to look at a software called Adobe Premiere Pro which is a video editing software that is very very popular in the market. So the version that of um, Adobe Premiere Pro that we are going to use over here is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014. So uh, let's get started. So once you open up this software you can actually see a window right here. So uh, once you open up the new window, you can actually go on to learn into getting started and so forth. But anyways, we are going to dig in uh, deeper into this software. So now in order to create a new project, we have to click on new project right here. And then uh, we can actually uh, to, uh, choose a set of settings over here. So now in this section, general section right here, you can actually see the renderer and that says uh, Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. So if you have a graphics card, then you can actually select this. Otherwise, it's a software renderer. So if you have a graphics card, then uh, Premiere utilizes it so that your editing is flawless. Now anyways, we are not going to dig in deeper onto this section right here. So you can actually also choose scratch disks. That's for temporary files. So sometimes what happens is that you're, uh, you are editing a video and then your hard disk space might skyrocket up and you might not know what is taking the space. It is usually because uh, there are some temporary files stored inside of scratch disk. So it's maybe located right over here. So in the general section, I'm just going to type in the name of the project now. So I'm going to say my first edit and I'm going to save it onto a location. And now uh, when uh, I, I am video editing. What I want to do is I want to make sure that all of the files that I'm editing, um, uh, video editing is in the same folder so that I uh, do not face some trouble later on uh, in the editing project. Because I tr we, what we tend to do is uh, when editing videos, we tend to keep audio files in one, one drive, such as D drive, video files in E drive, and that really messes things up. So I want to avoid that. Uh, at all costs. So in my uh, tutor tube drive, I'm just going to say my first edit. So that's going to be my uh, video editing file right over there. I select folder and just save this. So just press OK and then uh, the software is loading. And there you go. I have my first uh, Premiere tool right now. So right now what happens is that I do not have anything uh, to edit in. So what I have is I have a default window right here. And if you sometimes you might not get the same window because it is quite adjustable just like this. So what I can do is I can simply go to Windows, go to Workspace and then reset the current workspace right there to get onto the default mode just like this. So then what happens is I get all the settings just like that. So now uh, let's get familiar on to what is available in the software. There I got my toolbar, which is uh, my default uh, way to edit. And then here is my project window. Here is my source window. Here's my effect control, audio clip mixer, metadata, and then my media browser from which I can browse my video files right on from the software itself. I got my info, my effects, markers, and history. And to access more of these tools right here, I can go to Windows and then I can select any of the things right here. For example, I got my effect controls. If I click on effect controls, then I will actually get to that window just like this. So I can go to Windows. Let's go to effect controls. And then there you go. I can even close these windows if I don't want them here. And in order to access them again, I can simply go on and select effect controls and it'll appear right there. And the Premiere, uh, is really adjustable. For example, if I want my toolbar to be in other place, I can simply drag the handle and drag it onto the side just like this. And there you go. I have my toolbar at the side. I can readjust this as well. And then there you go. I got my new layout. I can adjust, also readjust this. I can also make another clip. Let's say, for example, I can drag the history up here. And there you go. The history bar is now there. The marker over there. And that's it. And if I want the uh, panel side by side, what I can do is instead of dragging it in between, I can actually drag it onto the side so that I can have my panel side by side just like this. 
and this is really really adjustable so you can see that working around premiere is really really uh flexible so what i want now is i want to get back my old effects so i'm gonna go back to windows uh, and then reset my current workspace so go to workspace it's on editing i got all uh, other presets as well so i'm just gonna reset this one reset and press yes so i get back to the original uh, editing window right here so in order to start editing i need to create something called a sequence i have no sequence by default in my timeline and if you're using an older version it'll first ask you which setting you uh, you want your sequence to be in so for here to create a new sequence you can actually go on here on to the new item window and select sequence or right click over here in the uh, project panel and go to new and go to sequence so once you do that you uh, you are actually asked on what type of video file you want to add in there so usually what we do is we just select the uh, footage that we have so usually we have a DSLR camera and then we select the resolution that we have right here according to our preference and then just press open so if you're new to video editing you might get confused with these kind of settings so there's an easier way uh, for you for you to in, import the video files which will automatically create a sequence for you so usually what you can also do is you can import the video files right here you can go on to media browser and then select uh, video from there or what you can do is you can double click over here uh, then you can browse onto your media files just like that so let's go for the hyperlapse video right here press open and there you go you got the video right over there but usually what happens is that uh, now a sequence is not created so there is no way for me to edit the video right here so what I'm going to do is instead of finding out what sort of footage is this I can simply drag on the footage right onto the new layer and once I do that what happens is that the layer uh, actually creates a sequence and the settings are all messed up so I don't have to worry about it so if you have the footage shot from the same camera then you can simply drag it on and then do the further edits in this sequence itself without having to edit in further but usually what I want to do is I want to set a standard so let's say for example let's see the setting or let's see the uh, frame rate and resolution of this video right here so I can right click go to uh, properties and I can see that this is an image size of 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate is 24 frames per second source audio format is 48,000 hertz and it's a stereo 16 bit stereo and 32 bit uh, floating point stereo so I can right click and see the settings there as well so I want to create a sequence similar to that or I can create a different sequence, but that won't really do much in the core. No, that won't show up a good quality. So I want to maintain that as such. So I'm going to go on to sequence. So that is actually my DSLR right there. So I guess uh, this one matches up quite a bit. It says 1080p and 24. Let's check the detail settings right here. So it says uh, 1920 by 1080, 23.976. That's close to 24. And the sample audio sample rate also matches. So since the DSLR camera footages are similar to this, uh, we can actually use this as this is the standard. So I can just press OK and then drag the footage right here. And in order, um, what the newer version of Premiere also does uh, does is if something, the sequence setting does not match, it actually pops up this window saying clip mismatch warning. So it actually means this uh, clip does not match the sequence settings. It may be because like the um, frame rate that we selected is actually 20, uh, 23.976 and our video footage here is 24 frames per second. So what, what I can do is if I want to use uh, type in keep existing settings or I can change the sequence settings right here so I'm just gonna type in I'm just gonna click change sequence settings just like this and then I got my video right here so then what happens is that 
I, I can start editing just like that. So now we are going to look at further settings on later lessons. We're going to talk about image sequences and then we're going to dig in further into editing and move on to effects, transitions and so forth. So I also have a crash course version of a video editing course if you want to learn video editing faster. But this course will be much more at a detailed level with all the little tiny bits of things explained. So anyways, uh, hope to see you guys again in next lesson. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.